Hey guys. Hey guys, Mike Build is back with another video for you guys. In the last video, I did a good overview of my 48 volt generator. This is it just kind of sitting standalone. So all you gotta do with this is add panels and bam, really nice uh, 48 volt setup. But anyways, I don't like how it's all flat and laid out. So what my plan in this video is I'm gonna take the whole card apart, use some of the square tubing I bought. We have some real thick stuff. I'm gonna make a nice heavy duty cart to hold everything and just try to stand the inverter up. We're gonna add a distribution panel with some breakers and just kind of upgrade a couple things, kind of tidy up a little bit as well. Other than that, this thing's been 100% reliable, good to go. I've been running it for months now. The inverter's been on continuously for a few months now. Zero issues to report of. Batteries, everything's working perfect. So that's it. We're just gonna take this thing apart and just package it better and, you know, kind of go over everything, make sure we don't have any issues I can't see. And that's it. So we're going to build a nice rack to hold everything. I'm going to scale it off of the battery size. So I'm going to use the big 16S battery down there. That's going to be where the frame's at. And we're going to skip, we're going to have that battery, then the server rack battery on top of that and its own mount, and then some sort of top. And then the inverter is going to be standing straight up. And then we're going to put all the wiring and all the other things like that, kind of mount everything real nice and neat. I have a little box printed for the control panel or for our main display here. So yeah, I think first step is I'm gonna go ahead and get all the components off, lay everything out, and then start kind of brainstorming how we're gonna do this. I don't have plans. I'm just kind of making this up as I go. So wish me luck. All right, I got the cart stripped down. All the stuff's over here. I'm starting to measure. I think I'm gonna go, the cart is 24 inches wide. I think I'm gonna do 24 by 28, and that should be big enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and take some 11 gauge square tubing, one inch by one inch. I'm gonna cut up some pieces to go ahead and make a frame, tack it together and kind of start getting a loose idea how I'm gonna do this. All right, got a little frame put together. So now I guess I need to decide how high I need to come up. I need to build a floor to put the batteries on, obviously. Then we need to build another platform to put the server rack battery, then another platform to mount everything new, then the inverter. So that's kind of what I'm thinking. And yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and try to brainstorm my next step here. I might just put some gussets going like that. I think that'd be probably the strongest way to do it. All right guys, here's what I kind of came up with. The box is upside down at the moment, so this is gonna be the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish with all the bottom stuff, flip it over. I already have the batteries test fitted in there and there's plenty of room between the next platform and the top of those to do maintenance. So basically where the bottom is at now, where you're looking at is actually the top where the server rock battery is gonna sit. But while I have it like this, I'm just gonna kind of finish some of these wells up, flip it back over, continue building the top. I'm gonna have to go buy some heavy duty casters because I do want this on wheels so I can roll it around. But so far, so good. It should be plenty strong and have plenty of room for what we need. But this is kind of the general footprint that we're taking up. So it's not very big. I think it's like 28 inches by 24 inches. So pretty compact, as small as I can get it. Yet still have a ton of power to do what I want to do with it. guys so the platform is mostly done so just to recap the bottom is where our, that battery is going to go our server rex battery is going to go right here then i'm going to put a platform on the top the inverter is going to have a piece coming up to mount the inverter on and then all the doodads and everything will probably be mounted maybe on the side or i don't know i'm not sure yet i'd like to keep the top as a table for the power strip that way i can put things on here to charge you know i think that'd be pretty cool and also have room to mount all the gauges and have room to mount all the gauges and monitoring equipment but anyways i guess i'm pretty much done with the frame so next i need to start figuring out what to put in the middle to support the server rack battery so i'm gonna go ahead and start doing that okay guys got the first battery mounted so i just put two bars going across like that super simple and i think i'm gonna put a piece right here to bolt this to so i can actually Get the battery bolted and this that's it this thing's done so now i can mount that i'm gonna go ahead and mount the bottom battery so i'll probably wait to do that because i still have to add spaces to put caster wheels i'm not sure what kind of casters i want to use i think i want to use some big rubber tires that way this thing's easy to push around and i can use it like i want to take it off road or something crazy and yeah so now i just need to build a top for it build a mount for the inverter and kind of start figuring out how to wire everything i am going to take this thing all apart once i'm done 
and I'm gonna paint the whole thing. I'm thinking like yellow, you know, like high voltage yellow color. I think that'd be kind of cool. I do want to paint it. Like I said, I gotta put casters on it and figure out where to mount all the components. But yeah, slow steps at a time. So now I'm gonna figure out how to build the top for it and go from there. Alrighty guys, I think I'm at a good stopping point. So we got this piece welded on. This is where the inverter is gonna mount. That piece of plywood fits perfect on here. It needs a little trimming, but that's gonna work great. I got the server rack battery mounts done. I gotta drill the holes, but that's it. Nothing crazy there. Just kinda, you know, it doesn't have to be neat and perfect. Just, I mean, this thing feels pretty solid. This is all welded up on two spots on each side. And like I said, I gotta drill the holes in that. That's gonna hang the inverter. I think next I need to start getting ready to put casters on it. I haven't quite figured out how to do that and I don't have the casters yet. So I think I'm going to go inside, take a little break. It's kind of hot out here now. So I've been working on this for at least three or four hours straight now. But it's getting there. It's starting to take shape. Super happy. This is kind of the vision I had of the cart. And it's a lot more compact than the old cart we were using. And I think it'll serve our needs a lot better. So yeah, I think that's it for now. I'm going to go in and take a break. And then I'm going to start figuring out how to do the casters. And once I kind of get an idea how I'm going to do that, definitely show you guys. And we'll probably run a Harbor Freight, get some. I think I mentioned previously we're going to run rubber tires. That way this thing can kind of go on the overall terrain. And I'm probably going to build some sort of handle to pull it around with like a wagon. And I'll probably do casters in the front, straight mounts in the rear, just to make it easy to wheel around. And yeah, that should be it. So we're going to keep chugging along and I'll see you guys in the next part. All right, just got back from the old Harbor Freight. We got some 10 inch pneumatic wheels. We got two casters and two standard whatevers. So I'm going to flip the whole thing over and try to figure out how to mount these. I don't want to just weld them on there. That would be the easiest thing to do, but then it's kind of non-serviceable. So my plan is to bolt them to it and we got to make some tabs to do all that. So I'm going to get this flipped over and mount it up somehow. I should have done it before I put this piece on because now it's not going to sit right on the floor. But oh well, we'll figure that out. I just ended up welding some flat bar straight to this with some holes drilled. And that's it. I'm going to mount the caster straight to that. So now, all right, so I got the wheels slapped on and then this thing rolls awesome. I was really unsure what wheels I want to do, but I think this will work perfect. So now you can get a general idea how the cart's gonna look. Yeah, super awesome. Now I just gotta finish painting it and then we're gonna start putting everything on like I've said a million times. I think it's gonna work really well. So I'll update you guys once you get some more work done. All right guys, big update. We got the batteries on. Man, these are really hard to get on. They're so heavy. I still have to make some sort of tabs to hold the batteries on the bottom rack. The top rack, the server rack is completely good to go. I do gotta drill holes to put bolts there, but that thing is solid. We got the inverter mounted, just two bolts up there for now. I do need to maybe add some on the rear, but I gotta build tabs right here. So I'm not gonna worry about that right now. I mean, this thing's, this thing's pretty solid. So I already started doing the wiring. I got the battery connections already ran. I haven't connected them yet, obviously. And yeah, now I need to start getting our load panel built. So I have this breaker panel with two breakers. I have this fourplex outlet. I got some wire. I got some conduit. So now I need to figure out where I'm going to mount all this so we have some relay or some breakers and a little bit of safety. So I'm going to work on that now and kind of show you guys. I don't know how I'm going to do this yet. Just kind of making it up as I go. But so far, I'm really, really happy with how the cart's coming out. It rolls super easily despite it being really heavy. I do want to put a handle or something on it. But yeah, super, super awesome. Not bad. It's like I said, it's about 13 kilowatt, 12 kilowatt hours worth of electricity right here. And it's a 6,500 watt inverter so pretty powerful package i mean this is about as small as you can go realistically you know and still have room for all your components and it's still somewhat upgradable in the future so anyways i'm gonna go and get the load center built and i'll show you guys when i'm done with that all right so we got the load center connected so we have our line of neutral and ground out and we have two pieces of 12-2 romex coming out and going into our distribution panel here i've separated the two wires into each breaker so this is a, this is meant for a 240 volt breaker box but the way I've set it up is to where I have th these two on their own hot leg in parallel with the main coming out. And then they each go to their own plug. So this plug is for one side of the breaker. This one's for the other breaker. That way I can kind of run a bigger load and not have to worry about tripping it. And that's it. They each have their 20 amp leg. I'm not sure 100% if this is the way you're supposed to do it. But I'm fairly confident this will work. I have the ground side together. I do not have the neutral and ground bonded in the box. It's bonded in the inverter. So I'm going to leave it like that for now. There's kind of some confusion online how you're supposed to do it. But we're just going to run it like this for now. I am going to ground everything metal. So the box, the inverter, and the actual frame of this are all going to be grounded together. That way there's no potential for voltages to jump and shock people. So should be good to go. All I got to do now is put the panel on. Put that panel on. Clean everything up. Connect the batteries. 
We got a few more things to mount still, so I gotta mount the power meter. I have a box I printed to put that in, and this thing is pretty much done. So once we get to that stage, we're gonna go ahead and start testing everything. And if everything tests out good, then this thing is complete. The only other thing I need to do is either the solar inputs, I wanna maybe extend these a little bit, and I'm gonna have them out the back here. This one's also real thin wire. This is 10 gauge, and I've ran almost 25, 2600 watts through this, and it doesn't really get hot. So this may be okay. I may go up a little bit on this. And yeah, just running the XC90 still, so probably should swap that out for the MC4s or whatever they're called. But anyways, I'm super happy how this thing's coming out. The box is mounted. I have it bolted right here, and then I have the face plate here. This is also secured. And yeah, so far everything's working out really good. So I'm going to go ahead and get all this buttoned up, and we should be done in the next clip. All right, guys, this is it. This thing is completely done, and oh my god, it came out so awesome. So... We got our distribution panel, we got our outlets. Once again, those are on two separate breakers for each each set, each pair of outlets has its own breaker, so that's good to go. I did not put any whatever on this just because I got lazy at the end, but I need to still do that. There's still a couple things I gotta button up. I still gotta mount this. This has to be mounted, and some of this wiring's had to be cleaned up. But as you guys can see, this thing's freaking awesome compared to how it was. It's a lot better of a footprint. It's easier to move around, it looks better. And yeah, super stoked to how this thing came out. So I already have it running the mini split. It's already plugged in and running. I did change the leads for the solar inputs. We have a 10 gauge set of wires here. And we have a 10 gauge set of wires here. These are XC90s. These are just normal MC4s. And everything's running really great. So <laughs> the only other thing in the backyard we got to do is I still have four more. I still have two more panels to hook up and I need to build some more solar stands. So I did do a video on building those little stands. So there'll be a video on that coming out pretty soon. But as soon as I get all the solar panel mounted, the only other thing I need to do to make this 100% perfect, in my opinion, is to put a pass through in the house. That way I don't have to have the window open with the towel shoved in it. And that's it. I think this will be the ultimate solar power station as I see fit. And yeah, super happy with it. This thing came out amazing. The cart looks super good. And yeah, I'm pretty stoked about it. It's pretty easy to move around with the big off-road tires. I hope these hold air long enough because there's a lot of weight on this. These are each rated for 300 pounds, but we'll see. Cause if that tire goes flat, for example, I'm afraid the car might fall over. So I might make some sort of like parking stand to put it on, like maybe put a stand underneath it while it's sitting still. And then I need to add a handle in order to make it easier to move around. Maybe I'll put like a handle like this coming out. That'd be kind of cool. But anyways, that's it guys. That's going to do it. So I'm going to get this video slapped together for you guys and let me know what you guys think. Let me know what all you guys, all you solar people think. You know, you think it's a pretty cool setup. You think it could be better. Let me know your opinions in the comments. Let me know what you guys are building and I will see you all in the next video.